Hey guys, yeah, it's been a little bit. I haven't posted a video in a while. Hang around, see what I'm up to. Well, it's uh, February 8th, and it's like 50-some degrees out here. What a beautiful day. Uh, I have my, get the glare off the camera, I have my boat registration that I need to put on. I don't want to forget this and have it get lost in the house. So that's what I'm doing right now. But uh, as you've seen, I've been working on the Spitfire and the Triumph hardtail bobber, but lately I just haven't had the gumption. Uh, I just kind of, kind of got burned out a little bit. So I've been laid off now for working on three weeks, and I've been just. Off and on now for about a week now. I've been just doing nothing. Working around the house, going to town, getting groceries, stuff like that. So, but hey, it is what it is. Let's go. Let's go get this on the boat. Yeah, I put this up last fall. Thanks to my buddy, Dave, who gave me a hand putting it up. I did have to come out and tighten down some of the straps because we had a windstorm back a few weeks back and it kind of worked its way loose, but we got her all buttoned back up. But uh, I'm just going to zip one side and go in and uh, look around a little bit. for me to get through here uh, yeah smelling a little musty in here but I need to go through the uh, get I haven't even touched it my gear you can still see that I have my pole still in here oh there's a bucket battery still in here I need to get that charged <laughs> I did get the motor off, hung up there. The mower's in here, parts and pieces for the Spitfire. That's the heart, that's the roof. I'm going to go through that after the car's done, and uh, so I can use it. The back window, it decided it was going to decide to come out. <laughs> but I think I. Yeah, got a critter in here, so I better check other things out, Let's see what's going on. Uh, but yeah, I need to get the new sticker on. Try and pull those off, and I don't know if I can even get to the other side, but I can give it a go. But. Yeah, so let's tinker around out here a bit. I was able to get both sides. Luckily, this one on the other side is toward the front, so I could just I just reached back and peeled off the old, which there was like three or four of them, <laughs> like four of them. I think I went back to 2020, <laughs> so I just peeled them off. Uh, don't want to lose this. This is the registration card. So I'm going to set that uh, 
right there. Hopefully I don't forget it out here, but I'm going to go through the boat. I need to take the bimini top because uh, it's in the way. I need to unclip it and then flip it up over and lay it back toward the back again so that it's out of the way and I'd be able to get in and out of the boat. I can get in and out just using the mower, but I, I need to go through it, decide on uh, get stuff out of it. Uh, I do need to co recover this seat. It's gotten bad over the winter. I think the had a critter decide to make a home in here and uh, or just whatever but I don't think he made a home but definitely uh, definitely uh, climbing around in here it could be a squirrel uh, I think it's a mouse that's the way that's frayed chewed up right there so yeah Let's do that. See if I can get in here without busting my ass. Not too, too rough. Get this in the top mode. I tell you what, I love this thing. took the my garment off I don't forgot all about that I hope I'm hoping that it's in it's okay I mean it's out been out of the weather it's not been in the rain or snow or anything but it's been in the cold so I, I disconnected it I got my boat registration right there so I don't forget it 
uh, we got a lot of things we got to do with this this boat. Got some cleaning up to do. I mean, I didn't clean it before. I put it away, and you're starting to see like a like a black residue, almost almost like a mold uh, starting on it. And I want to polish it. You know, got a lot of things I want to do. I got to fix that one section underneath on the keel uh, and I gotta fix the hatch because this is like dry rotted and that's a that's a mold right there growing right in there that black and brown shit that ain't good must have been wet and just started so got a lot of cleaning up to do you have her ready which ain't gonna be long uh, so, yeah, let's get this crap hauled inside. Yeah, there we go. I got the poles taken inside. The, all the fishing tackle and stuff, my Garmin. Uh, I need to disconnect this battery. <coughs> I may just leave it in the boat. It's not leaking or anything. And the boat's fiberglass, so it really ain't going to hurt it. Uh, well, that was noisy. Sorry. No, I can't. I don't got they're tight. So, but I may need to get a new battery in the spring. Hey, aren't my feelings done? I need to. I want to wire up the uh, mercury with a starter. I have another motor over at my granddaughter's that is a uh, Mariner electric start exact same motor 20 horse it's just different name just like a you know a Chrysler and a Dodge or Chevy and a Pontiac just different name just a little bit of different things here and there but it'll, it'll wire right in and then I'm gonna run I'm gonna keep the battery up front or weight transfer. I'm going to go to a, a smaller fuel tank, which that's a huge tank. That's like eight gallon. Like I don't know if I'll need that or not, but I do have a smaller one. If you look back in some of my videos, you've probably seen that. Go to the smaller tank for less weight, because with my fat ass in the back, and the motor hanging off the back, the battery that was back there for the starting and bilge pump and etc uh, and the gas tank all of that it was it's was tough getting this thing up on plane uh, but I took that motor out last this last fall when we got hold of it during the summer I can't remember now but she she makes this boat just she gets she gets up quick and the scoot right across the, the lake so that's a good thing uh, I don't need I ain't a need for speed I just want to get from point A to point B a little faster than a 9.9 <coughs> but yeah let's uh let's go back inside ah let's zip this tank for a couple hundred bucks, Harbor Freight, and help from my buddy, that thing was worth it. Now, whenever I pull the boat out of there, I'll be looking to get another uh, boat cover, uh, which I have an affiliate link. Uh, it's really like a What do they call that? It? It's not. It's, it's, it's affiliate link, but with Vivor, uh, I'll put the link down below for them, and they sell all kinds of stuff. Uh, my welder, for one, is a Vivor welder. They don't make it anymore, which is, but they're cheap, uh, and they do it. They do 
hell of a job. That my my welder is a uh, MIG, TIG, and stick, uh, and it works pretty decent. It's only 130 amp, which I want to go bigger, so I can weld thicker stuff. But I would rather go with instead of stick, I like to go MIG, TIG, plasma cutter. It makes more sense to be able to. I'd use that plasma cutter more than I would that stick. So, I don't stick weld. But yeah, we, I've been working on the floor pans on the, on the, on the spitty. I named her Jade, as you can see why. <laughs> but slowly working on her, like to have her done by May. We'll see. Got a lot going on. I got the rear end done. You can go over to the other channel. I'll put the link down below. You can go check it out there. Won't talk much about what's going on now, but I just got done putting the, the rear uh, half shaft axles. I uh, just got a new pair of shocks for it. Got to get them on, get everything bolted up, and then the, and put brake lines on it. The back end's done. Work my way forward. Interior is the main thing. And little little things under the hood. Nothing special. But I am looking forward to fishing season. And uh, uh, I got my, got my, my, this year's tag, or fishing license, an Erie stamp, my trout stamp. So plans are to get up toward Erie and get on some of those trout, get on those steelheads. We'll see. Hopefully things work out. Uh, my weekends are going to be pretty full through the summer, but yeah, we'll bring the content to you. Uh, and I am also going to be kind of showing you guys some new uh, gear. So keep your eyes open for that. I am a I am sponsored by Cash Gray. I got discount code and all that, so it, 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 you'll see, you'll see, here real soon, real soon, and uh, so you can save a little bit on their stuff, uh, site-wide clothes, gear, fishing, uh, you know, fishing tackle, all that stuff, and hopefully I get to meet those guys here pretty soon, get out and do some fishing, uh, I should be out fishing today, just go out and, for a couple hours such a nice day out but yeah, yeah sucks getting old a squirrel <laughs> uh okay i do appreciate you guys it's a short little tell you what i'm up to today like i said i haven't been in the mood to do much so we'll uh we'll leave it in here but I do appreciate you guys. If you guys could, if you want, you can make a, a, a contribution to the channel with a PayPal me link down below. You can become a member of the channel, which you get perks there. You get uh, see videos prior to anybody else. You can get at, uh, extra perks like uh, uh, members only videos, members only giveaways, which that's another thing I need to need to come up with is my is the giveaway for my 2,000 subscriber. I think my next video will be that. When I I just haven't had time to figure out what to do, what how to go about it. Just yeah. Okay. Thank you guys. I do appreciate you. Like I said, leave a comment. I always try to reply to my comments. Give me a thumbs up, not the finger. And why don't you go look at that video? We'll see you on the next one.